and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can insert one image into multiple shapes in Word to really elevate your professional graphic design. So we need to go to insert and we need to go to shapes and click on the drop down. So for example we're just going to pick a square, click and draw out a rectangle. Now every shape you insert into Word has a border. You can keep the border if you want to, but I'm going to get rid of mine. So I'm on shape format, go over to this icon here, which is the outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. Now I'm just going to rotate this image and I'm just going to move it over to the side here as if we were creating a graphic. Then I'm going to copy this by selecting it, holding down my alt or option key and just clicking and dragging out another shape. I can do this multiple times and click out as many shapes as I need. I'm going to deselect them. I'm going to reselect this one and delete it. Then I'm going to select this one and just copy and paste this over here. And then you can see how we've created this little brick effect. What I'm now going to do is just select them all by holding down my command or control key and clicking on each shape. Once you've selected them all, go to group and select group. Now we've turned it into a group, it now moves as one element. If we go over to format pane, that's under the shape format tab. Go down to this icon here, the bucket, click on fill and go down to picture or texture fill. Now I've recently done this so it has selected my last image but to select your own image go to insert and then you can obviously select from any of your images Let's select from this one here. Now ideally, if you have created a shape block that is a portrait, you can see this would take a portrait image, not a landscape, it's best that you do pick a portrait. However, I will show you how to correct that. So let's say for example, we select this image here and then click insert. And then you can see how that image has been inserted. Now, for example, if you wanted to insert an image that was a landscape image, but you wanted it desperately to fit in here. So just go to insert, go to picture, picture from file, then just insert the image you want in your collection. You can see again, this is a landscape image. We'll change it to portrait, click insert, and then just go to wrap text in front of text. So we can see the image, then go to crop. Then using these little black markers, move them over so that we reduce the image to a portrait size. Just press enter, then right click on the image and click save as picture. So just click on your group of shapes, go back over to the bucket icon, click insert, find your image and click insert. And there you can see how your image has been inserted may not be perfect, but you do need to play around with it a little bit, maybe play with the shapes just so that you include parts of the image that you want. Now, alternatively, you can go to insert shapes. You can create the circles, click and drag out circle. Make sure you hold your shift key to create a perfect circle. Go to shape format, just take off that outline. Then I'm just going to copy a few of these circles and then click on each one, hold down that shift key just to create different sizes. And then what we can do with all of these, let's just select them all, holding down that command or control key. Then we're going to go over to the format pane and we're going to go to this icon here. And then we're going to click on shadow and we're going to select any shadow you like. And you can see we've created these little shadows. So what this does is although we've collected these images these shapes together, the shadows will create that definition between each of them. So now we can go to group, select group, go to the bucket icon, go to picture and texture, go to insert, and here we'll select a portrait image, let's select this one here, and click insert. And you can see how these shadows have given a slightly different effect to the shapes. Now you can see that these two here haven't got that shadow, they're down here. 
so it's not really giving any definition up here. So what you can do, you can make some adjustments, but the important thing to know is that when you ungroup your shapes, the image will go to each individual shape, as you can see here. What you'll need to do is make your adjustments. So let's say, for example, we wanted to pull this shape forward. Go to bring forward and say bring to front. Or then we could just click centre backwards and we can put it, just keep clicking, and it will move in and out of these circles. We can then select them all. Go back up to group and select group. And then click on the bucket and as soon as you click picture, it will revert back to the picture we originally chose. And of course, this is one element now, so you can move it around wherever you like. Now, the other thing with shapes is you can include them, but you can also move them around. So if you go to shapes and select this one here, click and drag out a shape, take off the outline, and then copy and paste a second one, deselect them both, and then reselect just this one. Go to rotate and select fit flip vertically, then you can obviously move them side by the side. You can also do this with the hexagons, then you can select them both, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag, and then obviously we can then select them all, go up to Align and select Distribute horizontally just to make sure they're all equally spaced, and then again group them together and then select your image insert, we'll select this image here and click insert and you can see how that's now been inserted. Now the great thing with doing these is that you can now export these as a PNG file which means they'll be exported without a background but they will act like an image. So just right click on them, go down to save as picture, select where you want to save your picture, let's just save it to the desktop and click save and then if we go to insert pictures, picture from file, select your image, click insert, and then let's just bring it forward in front of text. And now this is an image and you can make it bigger or smaller in the same way you would with any image. And you can use this wherever you like. So you can use it on a website, you can use it on social media, for marketing or for printing. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.